check out our shirt on Teespring. Hey folks, what's happening? What's going on in the world? Please put the comment section because I'm just curious. Now I'm being too noisy. Um, I'm going to talk about this movie. Um, I'm a big fan of Kevin Smith's movie. Of course, uh, I'm talking about Clark's 3. It came out at 2022, and this movie was a pain in the ass trying to watch. Um, I couldn't find one movie theater in the San Francisco Bay Area, that's the uh, San Jose Bay Area, where it's going to play like a mandate, but um, personally, I had to pay $20 to see it at 7 o'clock at this mall in San Jose. And the really cool thing, he brought a lot of people that play different characters in the first Clerks movie, I think it came out in 93. Kind of see uh, how else they change over the years, and of course, you know, I'm getting old myself. But uh, that was kind of a cool part about it. Also, he brought b back some people that, in his other movies, that he uh, directed or wrote. So the movie takes place maybe 10 years after the Clerks 2 movie. Um, until um, Dante and um, Randall are still running the liquor store. Uh, but tragedy happened. The reason why Becky is not in this one, but she kind of plays a ghost. Kind of sad story to it. Well, there were some clues um, the future of Becky because if you look at the cast pictures of Clark's story, she's the only one wearing the Moody's uh, uniform. All the rest are wearing the Clark's liquor store uniform. So basically what happens, uh, Randall gets a heart attack and um, turns out during the hospital stay, he kind of realized he's been messing with his life, he's been a jackass. And he said, well, maybe I should make a movie about my adventures or working in it. So it's a very Larry's movie how they um, try to make this movie, you know, their goofy ways. Um, they had like Science Bob become the director and he gives a little speech about why this movie be filmed black and white. Of course, my favorite scene when they uh, try to recreate the donkey scene in Clerks 2. Also, um, the casting scene and, you know, everybody, different way of saying, I'm not supposed to be here. You know, one of the great quotes of the, the first one. But once again, I mean, you got to enjoy his humor, Kevin Smith's humor to like this movie, be a fan of the, the first to understand this movie. So this movie is mostly uh, for fans. So if you don't understand his humor, or is it the first two, and I like this one. And also, like, Kevin Smith many times says, I make movies that only make $3 million. So a lot of people may not like this movie because uh, all the inside jokes, and you gotta be a hard Kevin Smith to understand this movie. But it was really cool at the movie theater. There were a lot of people at you know behind around around me who were enjoying the jokes, got the jokes, and also it was most of a roller coaster because you know, these characters really do care about, and um, and you know, basically care about because you work with retail, you understand what it's like working retail. And so there's kind of a special bond, you know, I feel towards uh, the characters, especially in, in the, I guess, the Clark Saga or something, whatever I call it. But it, once again, the high, high point of it is seeing these people playing these roles again. Also, uh, you should stay for the, uh, the closing credits because Kevin Smith gives a little speech about, you know, thanking his fans for showing up. And also um, gives a little story about, you know, making the movie, the first one, Clerks. And after the credits are done, um, there's like a uh, 15 or 20 minute uh, documentary of making of Clerks 3. And um, it was a very good emotional roller coaster for me up and down. One minute you're crying, one minute you're laughing. And it was a good balance of these uh, characters. And um, I think this movie will not do so well in the movie theater. Maybe after it goes on DVD or something or streaming to be more popular if you all watch it, but movie theater, I wouldn't be surprised if it would be a flop, but it's, uh, because once again, it's mostly based on Kevin Smith's fans, you know, tribute for his fans, but uh, I think for doing that, you know what I mean, well, people won't, won't take that chance, and he realized, you know, what area, also, you know, he add some things, take away some things from the characters to add more to the story, so I kind of like that. But I think you enjoyed. I, I encourage you to watch the you know, the first two Clerks movie. I watched the you know other movies like you know, Jane and Bob Strikes Back. Other movies there's some ties with these characters, and um, 
that's what I would say. I had a great movie. I enjoy it. Uh, I, I did a great send off for the Clark's saga, whatever I call this. And um, hope I'll do better next time. Thanks for watching. And let me know what you think. Are you a big fan of Kevin Smith? What you what you like about his? And Merit Dad, you know, 37. You know, Merit Dad number. You know. <laughs> Thanks for watching. Bye.